Hello, St. Thomas community. Um, due to some technical difficulties on Sunday, the service didn't record. And so I we weren't able to share my kind of acceptance in what I said last week in the worship service. So I'm going to kind of try to recreate it as best I can. I want to take this opportunity to officially accept the call to be your priest in charge to thank you for the confidence you have shown in my ability to lead with you, and to say that I am really, truly excited about what the next few years hold for St. Thomas. The Holy Spirit is so very present here, despite all of the craziness that these last two years have been um, and continue to be. Holy Spirit so present, and I truly, truly believe that. Um, and despite all the challenges I know are before us, there's also a sense of wonder and renewal and possibility. And I really, truly hope you feel that too. I'm humbled that I get to be a part of all of this alongside of each and every one of you. It's going to be hard work. It's going to take open conversations honest reckonings of some things hanging in the past and hard work on the part of each and every one of us. And we're not unique in that because of the position we find ourselves in. Um, the churches everywhere are struggling to figure out what it means to be church um, right now in this time. And we're not going to accomplish everything perfectly it's not all going to be smooth, but I am really committed to this next chapter being filled with joy and laughter and energy and a chance for everyone to be heard and brought into the process of growing and deepening and discovering where God is calling St. Thomas to be. I have said so many times that the reason I love searchers, seekers, and doubters as our kind of church tagline or motto so very much is because I ventured that any of us at any given time find ourselves in one of those categories. And I pray that that is the case um, because the moment we stop searching, seeking, or doubting, then I think that's when we cease to be the people that God's created us to be. And when we become complacent with the ways we've always done things or the belief systems we've always held, we stop looking for how we can be followers of Jesus in the moment that we find ourselves in. There will be plenty of time and opportunity to say, say so much more as we shape together the future of St. Thomas. Um, as the vestry mentioned, we're going to be working with the Office of Congregational Vitality, which I'm really excited about. There's a lot of resources there. And one of my frustrations as interim is that those resources and programs aren't available to congregations who are in transition or who are in search. Um, and I suspect that's going to be changing as the diocese moves from this model, previous model of having the interims of rectors to this new model of priests in charge. But I'm excited to um, be able to start to see how that, um, that office, the Office of Congregational Vitality, can um, help support us and um, help, help us along. I'm super excited about that. There is, this is the start of a new relationship between us all. Um, and it's kind of funny because this would be the point if I was accepting a call at a place where I hadn't been, um, where I would say, I look forward to meeting all of you and getting to know you all. Um, I look forward to continuing to get to know you all in a new way and to see this new relationship unfold. Um, but for now, I simply want to say thank you. And I love you, I love you all. I love St. Thomas, I love this community. Um, and I look forward to continue to seeing you in church, whether on Zoom or in person um, and look forward to that. Thanks.